let me ask you a question. Why does Amazon rule the world? Uh, I'm going off script here. Sorry, man. They value the customer experience. They're customer centric. Okay, so you, your position is they're customer centric. So let's talk about Amazon here. And I'm going to apply Amazon's thinking to every manufacturer. Does everyone agree Amazon rules the world? Yes. Yes. Are they, are they the most valuable company in the world right now? They keep going Amazon, Apple, Amazon, Apple, Amazon, yeah, Apple. Every and right, okay. Amazon rules the world. How old is Amazon? They started like uh, late oh. 90s. They became a player in 2002. Is there anything unique about their business? Like did they corner a market? Did they create a market? No, they sell books. Mail order has existed forever, right? What is it that Amazon does really, really well? Why is it they own the market? Why are they the most valuable company in the world? What's the reason you order shit from Amazon and you don't go to Target to get it? Uh, it's easy. Okay, number one, you can get anything on Amazon. Remember how you used to have to go to eBay to get like obscure stuff, some obscure thing on eBay? I used to buy from eBay all the time. How, do you, did you used to buy? Yeah, yes, I did. I probably buy two things on eBay every year now. And, I, and if you look at my purchasing on eBay over the last five years, it's basically nothing. Okay, maybe five, six items. You can get anything from Amazon. You can get it fast, really fast. When they said that they were gonna do two day shipping, you were gonna get any item within two days. What did everybody say? Yeah. Nah, no fucking way, man. You're not, you can't give it to me in two days. And then when they said we're gonna do one day shipping, he said, no way. Then they said, we're gonna do same day shipping. And everybody said, no way. And then they said, we're gonna do two hour shipping. You're gonna get your stuff in two hours. And everybody said, there's no friggin' way you can do that. And then they said, we're gonna deliver it within one hour and you'll be able to track it from the second you ordered it to the second it gets delivered to your door. And everybody said, you're friggin' crazy, okay? So why does Amazon rule the world? It's very simple. You can get anything there, you can get it fast, and you can get it easy. How does Amazon do that? One of those reasons is they leverage the third party sellers. No, no but it, they, they have lots of streams, right? They have, but all the third party seller does, it's still Amazon's mechanism, right? right? The third party seller is responsible for providing the good if you're using a third party seller, but it's still yeah, Amazon's, it. right? How is it they're able to do this? Because they've mastered the logistics and the warehousing. That's right. So I place an order. I go to Amazon's website, I place an order, and I say I want that order to be an Amazon Prime order. So I'm gonna get it in two days. What's the first thing Amazon has to do with that information? What's the very first thing they gotta do? Where, which DC, okay? So they gotta do where, they gotta do when. That means when do we fulfill it? I mean, do they always, the second you place the order, run out there, grab the thing out of the bin and no, they have to do when. So that is to hit the date, when do they have to fulfill it? Who, who's gonna ship it? Are we gonna use UPS? Are we gonna use the US Postal Service? Are we gonna use our own shippers? Do you know that UPS delivers until nine or 10 o'clock at night now? You know that, right? UPS just 10 years ago used to deliver. I've worked at UPS when I was in college, so I know all the package trucks would be back in at 5 p.m. There was the occasional late delivery if you paid a premium for those late deliveries, but now regularly UPS delivers much later into the night. You wanna know why? Amazon. U.S. Postal Service delivers multiple times per day in most metropolitan markets. So the USPS will come to your house and drop your mail off multiple times per day. Why? Amazon. Amazon has fundamentally changed the way that our customer experiences. Okay? So then they got to decide who's going to ship it. And then they have to track it all the way to fulfillment. Okay? The ordering mechanism is a layer in their business. The decision making here, prime, where, when, who, these are layers of the business. So this is most likely, this is gonna be their ERP layer. This is gonna be their manufacturing execution layer, except they're not manufacturing anything. This is the fulfillment execution system. This is going to be logistics, and this is going to be CSR layer, okay? Every layer in Amazon's business is a consumer and producer of information, okay? All the way across Amazon's organization, they are producing and consuming data, and they put it all in a unified namespace. Ever since 2002, when Jeff Bezos sent out that famous email and said, we're no longer sending information through email, we're no longer building spreadsheets, we're no longer doing this, we're gonna talk exclusively through software APIs. That's what we're gonna do, as his leadership, okay? The reason Amazon's the most valuable company in the world 
is because they've got the right CEO. The reason Tesla is the business they are is because they got the right CEO. I'm not trying to offend any executives out there. Most of the C-level people that I come in contact with, that means most, the majority, more than 50%, should have retired 20 years ago. Most of them are absolutely, unequivocally unqualified to lead a business of the future. Jeff Bezos led the business of the future before we knew what the future was, okay? That's why Amazon absolutely owns the market. You don't have to convince leaders like Jeff Bezos that you have to have a fully integrated business. From the distribution center floor all the way up to the distributed order fulfillment website that's all over the world. You don't have to convince him of that. He had to convince everyone else in his organization that's what they needed. Companies like us and most people who are working with manufacturers have to convince, have to make the case over and over and over again why it is you have to have a fully integrated business. Because these companies are being led by chief executives and by C-level teams and board of directors who step over $100 bills to pick up pennies, okay? That's the simple reality. We didn't plan on shooting this video. The reason I asked you the question is I want to create context as to why it is we keep hammering home these points. You know, why is it you have to calculate OEE? Why is it do you have to have a digital manufacturing execution system? What is the reason you need to be investing these dollars? Every time you have a machine builder build a new machine, it needs to contain lifetime counters and machine state, and it needs to be leveraging IIoT, IIoT devices. It needs to be publishing its data, report by exception over open protocols to a unified namespace. The reason we keep saying all these things is because Amazon in the logistics and supply chain business business and the consumer logistics and supply chain business has proven our point, which is if you want to remain viable in the market, then you have to evolve your business so that it mirrors your personal life. Making an order on Amazon is just like texting my kids and asking them to pick up milk at the store. When I text my kids in our family chat and I say, hey, Josh, on your way home, will you pick up milk and ginger ale? I can track that experience in real time. I can see where he is on my iPhone. From my phone, I can see, oh yeah, he went to his bank account, he spent $13, it's on the way, and now he's driving. The experience of ordering through Amazon mirrors the experience in our personal life. Okay. When I wake up in the morning, I wake up to my Echo Show going off. I roll over and I say, Alexa, shut off. Then I say, Alexa, play the news. And Alexa plays the news. And then I say, Alexa, what are all my meetings for today? And she lists off my calendar. The reason I'm as efficient as I am is because I'm leveraging technology to do more with less. And my life is fully integrated, just like most of us. But our businesses are not. Manufacturing organizations are not fully integrated. You don't get to pick and choose how to integrate the business. There's only one way to do it. And you don't get to decide whether I'm gonna do the MES stuff. I mean, you can, you get to decide that. But your competitor who decides to fully integrate this is gonna crush you in the market. The way Amazon destroyed eBay, the way Amazon destroyed Sears, the way Amazon destroyed JCPenney. Because at JCPenney, you couldn't get anything fast and easy. You could get only what they stocked, only when they had it, and only if the person you were working with was easy to work with, okay? That's the fundamental difference, okay? So anyway, I wanted to juxtapose something about the commercial life into what it is we're talking about in industry. This is an important point. Business is business is business. You have sales, you have fulfillment, you have payment, and you have lessons learned. That's literally every single business. If I'm a lawyer, the only lawyer in a law firm, I'm selling myself to potential clients, I'm doing the service for them, and I'm getting paid for it. That's every business. Whether I'm Amazon, whether I am Acme Fastener Company, it's the same thing. Now, when you're a large multinational manufacturer, you have this logistics piece, okay? When my order comes in, when my sales group sells 25 million widgets, how do they make the decision which plant is gonna manufacture them? and where they're gonna be shipped from. Manager probably just picks. You're fucking right, man, it is people. People are going in and trying to do the processing that Amazon does through machine learning and AI. They are using algorithms to determine which distribution center has the quantity, has the delivery time, that is, hey, their percentage of on-time deliveries are X. When we are using the US Postal Service, US Postal Service is delivering within that, that 48 hour promise, 96% of the time, whatever, right? They're also looking at how important is that customer? How much money is that customer spending with Amazon every year? Do you know what my number is? I bet you order on average more than one time per day. Okay. How, do you know what I spent on Amazon last year? 200,000. 
130 grand I spent on Amazon last year. Now, granted that I order with for my businesses through Amazon, but they do make a determination the value of the the client coming in, and that's not a person making that determination. Anyway, here's my point. The difference between the businesses that are kicking ass and the businesses that are not is the businesses that are kicking ass are fully integrated, including Tesla. Tesla hasn't changed the design of their cars since they roll off the assembly line. The Model S today is the Model S it was 5 years ago. What changes is the software. And they change the software based on information they collect from all of their drivers on the road. And that is a fully integrated business. So it's they're collecting it up, they're processing, and they're pushing it back down. They use it to decide which vendors they're going to use for certain parts that fail, right? But the design of the Model S hasn't changed. If I drive a 2017 Model S or a 2020 Model S, it's the same freaking car. It's the same car. Okay? So anyway, and, and there's a reason for that. Okay. They've decided that the value in the market has to do with this fully integrated improvement cycle, this continuous improvement cycle. And the same thing with Amazon. Amazon decided, we want to own the world. All we got to do is let you buy anything fast and easy. Most of the chief executives that I talk to will tell you anything fast and easy is not possible. And Jeff Bezos said, eh, okay, I'll do it. And that's what's going to happen to your business. If you don't do this, if you're a sugar water manufacturer and you bottle sugar water, and you say that you can't provide a low calorie, great tasting sugar water that doesn't go bad ever and is eco-friendly, if you say all those things, your chief executive says, no, nah, we can't do that cost effectively. There's a chief executive who will come along and say, eh, I can. If you can't produce it for less than X number of dollars per bottle and you say that you can't because I can't become efficient enough, someone will come along and say, eh, I can do that just by doing this. There are trillions of dollars of savings in our economy waiting to be captured by fully integrating our manufacturing businesses. Trillions, trillions of dollars. All right, anyway, off my, off my soapbox.